Brain Hearing describes the approach that Oticon takes when creating solutions for those with hearing loss. It starts with the fundamental observation that speech understanding is a cognitive process. It happens in the brain. So, when listening becomes difficult, like in complex environments, a person's cognitive load increases. How do we know this? Researchers can assess cognitive load through pupillometry, which is the measurement of pupil diameter, a well-known method of determining stress. In fact, multiple studies prove that as cognitive load increases, so does pupil size. This is due to changes in the sympathetic nervous system as a reaction due to perceived stressful conditions. So, how does this relate to hearing instruments? To find out, the Cognitive Hearing Science Lab at the Ericsson Research Center, working with Amsterdam University, developed a method to study individuals with hearing impairment to determine the effect of hearing instruments and the impact on cognitive load in complex listening environments. The 24 study participants between the ages of 35 to 80 with mild to moderate to severe symmetrical hearing loss underwent pupillometry testing while listening with Oticon Open and with Alta 2 Pro instruments. The eyes of the listener, as seen through the eye tracker, are measured for pupil dilation. A baseline measurement is established while the listener is relaxed and only listening to the background noise. Then, speech is added and they are asked to listen and repeat keywords from the sentences. Notice what happens to the pupil size when the task is carried out compared to the baseline and task completion. Testing demonstrated that with open, listening requires less cognitive effort, so more of the brain's resources can be dedicated to things like memory and recall. This 20% less load on the brain helps listeners remember 20% more. When patients understand that hearing happens in the brain, hearing instrument choice becomes a healthcare-driven decision, making open the smart choice.